what's up guys it seems like a lot of you guys are a bit curious on how i make my whiteboard animation videos seems like a lot of you guys are starting up channels with a variety of topics from health science business education to marketing your own business which i'm happy about because you guys seem to be action takers but i wouldn't expect anything less from the betterment society so i'm gonna take you through the four main steps that i take to make my animated videos before we get started, I want to let you know that we are launching our first Better Men Society t-shirts before we launch our full clothing line. So these are going to be limited edition just for you guys in the Better Men Society, unlike the clothing line, which is going to be available for the public. So they'll be available only for one week, so make sure you get yours after this video. So let's get started. The first step is to gather your information. The most important part of the video is the content. I normally read or reread a book and take tons of notes. I try to build stories and examples to present that information in the best way possible. Then comes step two, writing the script. After you have your notes, you start building your script. This is where you organize and polish what you're gonna say when you're gonna say it. Step three comes the voiceover. This is where you record the ideas and your microphone. And it doesn't matter what kind of microphone you have, as long as the room is quiet and you can get to work. The voiceover is pretty self-explanatory. So let's go to step four, is creating the animation. I use a software called Videoscribe, which is amazing to use. It's very simple. Let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to use that software. Let's get it started. So we go to Videoscribe. You need to download, obviously, the, the software. Uh, you need an account in order to sign in, obviously. You can actually get a seven day free trial. That's how I started. You go to Create New Scribe here. I have all kinds of scribes there. And it, it takes you to the blank canvas. So right here is where you start messing with things. So you can start with adding text to your canvas. That's usually how, how I start. Um, there you go. So right there. So now you have your title. It, it literally is very simple to use because right here at the bottom, you have your times. So this takes two seconds to write. And you can make it faster. <laughs> like that, that, that was fast. Or you can make it slower. Okay, I usually take the hand off, I think it's useless. But that, that's my style, I usually don't use the little drawing hand. And now we have that. Now let's move in and get some images. You can actually, the beautiful thing about this software is that you can grab and drag and move it along and you have basically infinite amount of space. So you can add an image, let's say, let's put it up there and let's add an image. Let's grab this dude right here. All right, you can make it larger, smaller, and uh, now let's put it over here to the side. This little camera over here is very important. Uh, I'm gonna show you the difference between having that camera there and not having that camera there. If I wanna have this dude here and start drawing there, I'll select him and have this to set the camera to this, to this certain position. So once I press it, it doesn't, it stays there, right? Now let me show you without it, again. Let's take it off. All right, so it focuses on the image and it centers it and it zooms in into it. So sometimes you don't want that. So this little camera is very, very important. So you just press that camera and it'll leave it in that position okay so now uh, not sure what else to tell you guys I mean this is a very simple to use program 
um, I can explain some of my own style choices. For example, whenever I'm writing ideas, whenever I want to contrast a good idea with a bad idea, for example, I use green for good ideas and I use red and what I did there since I'm using the same word I just copied and pasted and moved it to the side to make it easier so I don't have to type it again um, but yeah I use colors to distinguish between a good idea and a bad idea it'll be easier to see for for the audience if you're doing that for your audience you can actually make it easier to understand this is more visually understandable so I do that I do this also when contrasting with uh, contrasting ideas let's let's see let's just copy and paste it since I don't I'm lazy and I don't want to type it again so let's try this down Here. So th those are my personal style choices. Contrasting ideas. I use the colors orange and blue. Alright. I just did shift and click to select them all. So then I set the camera for all of them. So now let's see. Usually I go back and re go through everything to just make sure the timing is right because timing is very, very important when it comes to this video. Doing like a voiceover, you want to make sure the ideas and the images match exactly your voice. That way uh, the impact will be a lot more powerful than just, you know, you say something and two seconds later the images pop up. So is very important and like I said right here you can manage your timing if, um, if the drawing is taking too long you can make it faster and if you go in here into the properties you can actually lower the pause time and the transition time so sometimes you don't need that you go over here these are your properties your simple properties you can uh, make it less solid more solid you have all kinds of different options here uh, for your image so you know that's that's up to you right here you have move in this is another option that you have you can actually instead of having having them being drawn you can just have them move in let me show you something really cool here let me uh, grab this guy I'm gonna copy him Piece them and I'm gonna have them move to this other side now let's go back to the to the original frame all right and then I'm gonna have them I'm gonna grab this guy the second guy this guy now move until the end so now I'm gonna do this morphing thing so I'm gonna choose this other guy now watch watch what's gonna happen okay So basically what I did, I took this, this guy, this new guy, and matched them or paired them with this guy to morph, they call it morphing, uh, to basically emerge from this other person. So this is a really cool thing to do. You can, you can actually start, if you get creative, you can start creating uh, motion and actual animation uh, in, this, in this program. Um, for example, in my last video, the seven habits of highly effective people, I actually used a, used a circle and and uh, basically made the circle move. So let's see, copy, paste, and let's make this circle smaller, and let's uh, get the camera straight. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to morph this guy from the other circle and 
let's make it faster. Let's take off the transition times. And here we go. And boom, you start creating motion. So you can use this morphing op option to start creating motion in your uh, video scribes. I mean, you can come over here and, and change your your texture styles from your background. Um, right here, you can add your voiceover. You can either record as you're making this happen, or you can import your your voiceover. As you guys can see, I have here my some of the voiceovers that I that I've done. Oops. Um, music you have all kinds of music here that you can use or you can import your own mp3 so you have uh, you know your own sound for that you can actually create um, charts outside there you go you can actually make <coughs> color there you go now that looks cool so you can actually make charts with actual data on them. Here you render, um, you can go over here to, to this create a video file. And then right here you have all your settings, your frames per second, your HD things. Uh, you name your project and then you just start rendering. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not sure what else to uh, tell you guys. This is a very simple a program to use I definitely recommend it I'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can check it out you guys can try the seven day free trial so you won't have to buy it but you can still try it so on that I think I think we're we're good guys I'll see you guys in the next video